Well, I made a, a run to TJ Maxx, and um, I didn't buy any purses. But one other time I went to TJ Maxx, and I talked about how I like natural products. But no, this is what I got the last time I was there. It's this Shea Moisture, which I've used before. Um, but there's a conditioner and a shampoo, but you notice being TJ Maxx are not the same. One's this uh, honey and mafura oil intensive hydrating shampoo and the other one is a restorative conditioner. And the main thing here is the ingredients which I probably can't see to read. I don't think there was anything too bad in there. There was something that is used to make it soap up or something. But anyways, this is the, the main thing that has in, in it. Bring moisture to the hair and blah, blah, blah. But um, yeah, and what's the story here? Oh, it's from uh, Sophie Tucker. She was in a village. Oh, Sierra Leone, 1912. Anyways, and this is her family. Family has promoted, kept her product going. And I, I can, you can get these at Target too. What did I pay for these? Eight ninety nine, uh, thirty one dollars or thirteen dollars list. This one was eight dollars, I think, with a ten dollar list. So not that much of a discount. But the main thing is, is that I don't think it's gonna kill you. Um, and then I got this soap. This smells wonderful. It's rosemary mint. And this product, too. This French milled soap. Mm, that smells good. Um, this is the ingredients. Can you see there? And I love on the end where it says the fragrance. A lot of times things will say fragrance added. I like this, how it says fragrance blend with plant extracts or and or essential oils and there's no red dye number two or four any of that stuff but this is really good stuff and I got a little bag of soap here I'll show you because I'm kind of a hoarder when it comes to soap terrible word but I don't know what else to call it <laughs> okay and here I got this to the coconut cream hand lotion very nice shea butter Argon oil, five bucks. And let me see. This is the ingredients there. They say anything that you can't, ooh, God, can't pronounce might be bad. And I'm not going to look all those up. I am just going to be faithful that it's not too bad. <laughs> okay, and then for bubble bath. I use this for the bubble bath and same company and this one has chemicals in it but it smells so good and that is who is that Bath and Body Works I was at the um, outlet <clears throat> excuse me Kate Spade outlet and they had this store right next to it and I blew in and I loved bubble bath and it was on sale so I bought it and let's see what the chemicals are on this one. Why well, I don't like it. Well, for one thing, it's a huge amount. Are there any colors in there? That might not be too bad. I don't know. There's a lot of words in there I can't pronounce. See up there towards the top, third line down, it says uh, fragrance. And then parentheses, parfum. doesn't tell you what it is. I'm so leery. This is from Target. This is a baby bubble bath and so I figured it can't be too bad they recommend it for babies and that's sweet orange vanilla and what does that have in it oh god which one's the ingredients Ugh. right down there I guess but you know I'm not gonna look all those up some people after you look up a few of them though you get to kind of know what's what Okay, and then let me get my soaps out here for you. 
let's see here. I got this little bag. I've got, this is, uh, we'll just dig in here. These are from a hotel. These are, this is a nice soap though. Um, this was, you know, stay at the hotel. I have some more of this Masan, uh, a la Masan uh, coconut. I have this one and I don't really like this fresh sea salt, but I've used it up. I got one bar left and I'm dying to use this rosemary. And what's this here? Ooh, goat's milk. Oh, I must have got that at the, at the church sale. Uh, $9, made in Wisconsin. Oh, it's got a little goat. Isn't that cute? Very small. Probably use it right up. Let me smell, see. Mm, it does have some smell to it. Huh. You see that? Lucy's. Uh, let's see. Handcrafted. Doesn't say what's in it. Okay. This soap here is uh, green tea. Enriched with natural olive oil. Got a little dry. I got it at probably Marshall's or something like that. What are the ingredients on that? This, I don't believe, is bad for you. And they say perfume essential oil. And then this uh, palm oil and glycerin and some fruit oil. So, and this one smells good too. Tea tree is wonderful. Oh. Okay, what have I got here? Oh, oh, this one is tea tree too. Rosemary tea tree. Mm, I I like one. This brand it's a patchouli. Um, let's see, three ninety nine TJ Maxx. It's talked about how it's made from nature, organic herbs, herbs. Environmentally safe. Where's everything it's free from? What about what's in it? Uh, pure essential oil, olive oil, coconut oil, organic herbs, cold processed. Um, let's see, is this the patchouli? Yep, that one's the patchouli. I gotta smell it. Oh god, that's heavenly. I love patchouli. Same brand. How much was this one? $3.99. So I like soap. What can I say? Of course, I'd have to get some coconut hemp soap. And what is that? Eye irritant. Where is it made? UK. Is that what that says? $3.99. In how to work it. Oh, here's the ingredients. I don't, uh oh, tetrasodium. Ooh, I feel leery of that name. I'll have to even use it, look it up before I use it. If I don't like it, I won't use it because I got all these other natural ones I can use. And this one <clears throat> is a very good soap, too. Dr. Bronner's, and this is almond. And this is certified to to be good for you. Let's see. I shouldn't say good for you, but there's the ingredients. There's no red number five or almond fragrance, natural almond fragrance. I love these soaps. These are really good, too. I don't know. These are hard to find, but I did find this one here at TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Burlington, one of the two. Oops, I lost my focus. $2.99. Okay, what else? Native, I think this is a Target soap. <laughs> I'm into my soap. Um, California, what's in it? Let's see, focus. See, it does just say plain old fragrance there. That makes me wonder. Shea butter. This doesn't look like it's got too bad of things. I think the sodium chloride, which helps bind the soap or makes it lather or something like that. 
whether it's real bad for you, I, I think it's pretty inert. I don't know. And what's this one? I don't think this one's very good for you, but it smells good. Mm, yeah, that's, uh, let's see what it is. It's Italian Lotus and Seagrass. It's Droplet Refreshing. Let's see, where is it made? Three ninety nine. What's it say up there? Extra gentle vegetable oil base, palm oil, tropical fragrance blends. And what's in it? I'm having a hard time with my focus there. Oh, not very many things either. Sodium, the palm oil, the water, glycerin, perfume, which is fragrance. Uh-oh. And sodium chloride again. So this is pretty, pretty, um, pretty pure. Not that much stuff in it. But anyways, that's my little, my little pile of my soap. And, um, oh, wait, I'm forgetting one. Hold on, I gotta get it because this one's really good. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Um, but my focus now is not being nice. This is, um, made with organic olive oil. This is Olivia Care. Six dollars. Moisturizing soap. Ingredients. Can we read there? See, again, it's not too much things they don't understand. Or hydrating. And let's see, what is this? Is it a bar of soap? Oh, yeah, there are the three. And that really smells good. 100% natural. And then what other thing? Oh, just look at that focus. This is patchouli and birdie. Bariti bath bombs. This smells good. Made with rose hip. So the rose hip floats around in the tub when you get done. All the old leaves. And what has that got in it? I didn't think this had anything too bad in it either. But then I might be wrong because I don't know everything. And I don't know what a lot of the ingredients are. If you look them up, you probably... If we looked up the food that we ate, the ingredients, and all the stuff, we'd probably all not eat. And what humble beginnings here. Nubian. Came from New York Street Vendors. In 1992, they, I hope they're still in business. They started a business here. But the product is really nice. It smells good, and it's, um, I hope, safe. I think it's safe. Okay, then what other thing? This has nothing to do with soap. This has got to do with tea. I love yogi tea, but I thought I'd try this. I love the kava and e Egyptian licorice yogi. Um, and it's made with roots, just like this one is. I'm going to try this brand tonight. And let me see. Can you see what's in here? See, oh, the organic catnip jumped out at me. My cats will like that. Linden flower, chamomile, lily, chamomile, and then the one that's got me going here is the passion flower herb, and that is that beautiful, beautiful flower there. And this is all herbal, organic. So I'm excited to taste this. I hope it is as nice as my yogi tea, which I know I really love. Okay, well this is kind of a different video. Thank you so much for watching, and and now I got to put all my soap away. <laughs> okay, goodbye.